Right? Now, if it gets bigger than God, you and God both, and me got a problem. So, and if, but as long as it's not bigger than him, you don't have a problem. Right? So nothing's any bigger than he is. Right? Could, could, I mean, surely people could agree that nothing is bigger than God. Nothing's greater than him, right? Well, as long as nothing's greater than him, then we don't have no problem. Because he's taking care of us. Right? Praise God. He said, vengeance belongs to me. That's only for him. Amen. That's only for him. And you know what? He knows what to do there. Now, I'd be a little leery if I was hurting people. Don't care a bit to run their jaw. Don't care one bit to disgrace the word and disgrace people that preach the word. I'd be careful about you. You're you're walking on some thin ice. Sometimes it gets thinner than other times. Now God's gracious. God's merciful. He's not going to cause things to happen. I mean, p- things are not going to happen to people just because of any little offense. Now you can forget that because we're supposed to handle those and take care of them. But I'm going to say this: when people mean you r- real harm, you better back up. And you better stop it. I'll just give you that warning. Vengeance is God's. He's still a God of judgment, just as just as sure he's as he's a God of mercy and 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 justice. So don't be fooling around. Amen. Paul turned turned one person. This is the only time I know in the Word that it happens that it happened. He turned one person over to Satan. For the destruction of flesh. Well, maybe, just maybe, that God, that Paul was uh, holding that man up in prayer until it got to the point that there's just not going, he's not going to listen. He's not going to stop. Now, that's all I'm going to say about that because I don't know much about it. And we don't see that happening much. But I'm just saying, don't set yourself against people of God. Don't set yourself against your brother, your sister. Now, if you do, God, we're, we're his children. And just like a father, somebody set their self against my kids when they're small. Now, they, they're not going to take care of you. I am. Are you hearing? And if I have to, I'll really take care of you. And if you meant them harm, you're meaning me harm. And we'll tangle. Now, praise God. Amen. If somebody tried to hurt one of my kids when they was little, I'd fight you to the death. Me or you one would have to, would that just be too bad? Amen. And some people say, I don't know about that. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. You'd grab them by the hair of their head, punch their lights out. And I would. Amen. Well, if you say, I don't, well, just let somebody jump on your kid and break their arm then. And they said, look at you and said, I'm breaking his leg next. And grab his leg and break his little leg. And would you sit there? Why, you coward. If you sit there and let him do that, you ain't nothing but a coward. I'll say, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. When you get done, you ain't going to be able to walk to the house. I'm breaking both your legs, your arms, and maybe your neck too. Amen. And so you'll wish you'd never come around here. You hurt my baby, and you'll see what you'll get. Hey, man, if I have to go get my vehicle, I'll knock you out and get my vehicle and run over your legs and break them. If I can't break them with my hands. Hey, man, now, come on. Ain't nobody going to sit around and let anybody harm their children. Well, you better watch out now when you start talking about God's children. Well, I throw that in there for free. I won't charge you for it. Hey, man. Praise God. So if you're, you know, be careful about what you say. Be careful about what you say towards people, towards preachers especially. Especially when they're really God called and really anointed and really have the word. Be careful what you say about that now. Be careful. Be careful. Don't just let anything come out of your mouth. Don't be so loose-tongued that you can say anything without restraint. 
Are you hearing? Now, we're living in that day. People say anything, and they just soon get, they don't know it, but they, they could get right up in God's face too and say, I, I don't believe you know what you're talking about, God. No, they wouldn't do it, but they'd do it to the preacher. Well, what's the difference? Praise God. <laughs> All right. No charge for that either. All right. Now, these are they which are in the cares of the world, the deceitfulness of riches, the lust of other things. They enter in and they choke the word. Now, Hebrew said, consider Jesus. Consider these things. Consider what Jesus is saying. And don't consider the other thing. When he said, take no thought for tomorrow, here's what he said. He said, consider what I'm saying. And don't consider those things. You want to be free of it? You want to walk by faith and live by faith and trust in a God that can absolutely take care of you? Then, then consider what he has said. Don't consider the other thing. 